Hi, this is Michael with Iconesis. Today we'll be walking through a quick introduction video on the Serve uh, 360 image hosting platform integration into Shutterstream 360 product photography software. Um, what we're seeing here is uh, the main UI of Shutterstream. Um, <clears throat> we'd uh, already shot a series of 24 images um, using one of our turntables, this Shutterstream software in a Canon DSLR camera. The entire process was completely automated and uh, the capture process took only about one minute. And then we went ahead and edited using our editing tools that we can see over here. Um, went to our editing suite and cleaned up the background to make it pure white. Uh, now we're ready to go ahead and output this image set to create a 360 view. So I'm going to select all my images here. And pardon me, one thing first that we should talk about is serve accounts. We're going to want to go ahead and integrate our, um, just connect our serve account. So if you go to serve.com and you log into your account, you're going to see on the left hand side a settings button. You'll click that settings button and then your option up top will be API and S3 slash FTP. You will create that or click that, pardon me, and you will see your API clients. Likely you will just have one here. You will copy your client ID and you will paste that into the software in the client ID area. Then you will also see the client secret. You can hit show and it will show that secret and you're going to paste that in here. Then you'll click check connection. And if everything's done correctly, you will see connection successful. From there, what we do is we can hit this plus button right here and we can create an account um, and save that profile so that it's going to be retained in the software every time. Uh, we've already done so. It's called Iconesis Serve Account. And we're just going to close out of that. So now the process is going to be, or now what we're going to walk through is how to get these up to the serve um, server. So we're going to hit our dynamic save button. And we've selected all 24 of our images. You can see denoted by a little circle inside of that uh, circle there. And we're going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this product. Uh, you can do badge, uh, sorry, barcode scanning into here. You can give it a SKU number. However your naming sequences, you can do it exactly as required. Um, and that's a master name that we're giving it. Um, and what it's going to do is sequentially name them based on what we're saying here. So we see sequential naming and we're going to say 01. So it'll be product-01 for the first frame through product-24 for the last frame, uh, which is correct naming for the serve 360 composition too. Um, this is our dynamic save tool. I will not dive into this too much, but you can basically save this image set multiple different times to multiple different locations and different image formats, um, different sizes, etc. Um, again, we've got some great tools on our website that show you how to uh, and kind of the power of this dynamic save feature. Um, I won't dive into it too much. We'll stay focused on the serve upload. Um, so what we're going to do here is go ahead and we're still going to save these images locally. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my desktop. I'm going to just choose this test folder. That's going to save a uh, set of these images locally. Um, we can choose our format. Um, if I'm not mistaken for serve, you can use JPEG or PNG images. Um, so we'll just choose JPEG here. You can choose your resolution if you want. Um, we'll just leave it as default here. Then you can also do resizing. So maybe we know that for our 360 product views um, that we're, you know, service hosting for us, we want them at 1200 pixels wide. We can do that. Um, again, you don't need to resize if you don't want to. And then what we're going to do here is we've got some other features. Um, you can auto apply an editing profile. You can watermark your images. And obviously the last one we see here is serve. We're going to select our serve account. Uh, that was the one that we'd created in the options area. And um, basically what it's going to do now when we hit OK is save locally this image set to this folder as well as upload them to the server account. So we'll hit OK and we'll see that process getting started. Uh, the other thing I should mention inside of here before I proceed is you can save a profile. This would be a save profile. So I'll just call this my saving. So that it'll be retained every time for you that you come in here. It'll remember everything that you want. All you'll have to do is just give your give it a new name. So we'll hit OK and the process is started. All 
All right, now that process is complete. We'll see dynamic save and complete. Again, we had saved locally. Um, we're gonna go to our desktop and I think it was a test folder. We're gonna see here. Okay, here's our 24 images inside of here. And then if we also go and look in our server account, we click my files. We're gonna probably see a new 360 view. So we'll click that and let's view our spin. We're gonna see all the individual frames inside of here with the correct naming, product 01 through product 24. Um, JPEG, and you can also see they're all resized. Um, again, I said resized to 1200 pixels tall. You're gonna see it's uh, resized everything for us there. And now what we can do here is view our 360 um, in Serve. Now Serve has some great features and functionality. Um, if you click customize, um, you're gonna be able to go ahead and change some of the features and functionality of this 360 product spin. Um, I won't dive into that. Serve has great user documentation and uh, you know, tutorials showing you how to do that. Um, I'll just quickly talk about the last little part here, which is the embed. There's some embed code that you can put into your website. You can output a GIF, uh, download a GIF from here that you could use in your social media channels. Um, there's some sharing through, you know, Facebook, Twitter, um, just a public link. And then there's also e-commerce integrations. Uh, maybe you have a Shopify web store. Um, what you would do is download that Shopify plugin from Serve, and then you would take this basically this 360 link and easily embed that uh, 360 view into your Shopify store. Um, again, we are Iconesis and we have integration through our software into Serve. Uh, we are a leading provider of 360 product photography equipment and software. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.